our Joomla 4 uh, video tutorial. So uh, in this uh, video, we will show you how to uh, enable uh, your, uh, your website to register as a user. So in, in our previous video, we discussed about uh, many things, uh, how to install, how to make your website SEO, how to uh, upload your website, how to modify your website, and so on. So if you have time for that one, you can check that uh, in our previous video. Uh, our objective here is uh, to give you uh, uh, information how to make a website, website without any knowledge of programming or coding. So uh, we're here to use Joomla 4 for that one. For now, uh, let's go to uh, to this uh, front end. What we have here is the Joomla for Cassiopeia template, and uh, previously we installed in our previous video we installed that demo data site. So if you go browse down here in your website, you will have this uh, login form. Uh, so you can log in here uh, if you are a member for this site. But uh, by default, uh, the Joomla for registration login is is uh, not available here so you can only log in if you have already a user account or in this case you have the admin you can log in but uh, our objective here is uh, uh, to enable the registration so that uh, anyone comes uh, to your website and uh, they can register to it so uh, so let's see how how, uh, how we can uh, uh, enable that option so let's go back to our administrator uh, account the back end so here is our back end uh, let's log in here just click on save for that and then uh, after that one you need to go to your uh, global configurations here and then uh, once you open your global configurations uh, you need to go to uh, browse it down here where is that I think uh, ah sorry you need to go you to users so once you click global configurations you go to uh, users this one click this one and then enable these options allow user registration if you click that one and then save now let's check out our demo site the front end let's click the front end and go down behind. you will find here a new link to create an account now let's try to create an account and uh, uh, let's see how it works but uh, before before I click that one here is the registrations I'll go back first to the administrator side and explain to you uh, some uh, basic uh, options so here we have allowed the registrations that why you that is why you can see a new link to create a registration and then uh, once if the if the user registered a new user registration will be assigned as registered and then uh, it will also uh, put on a guest so you have options here to activate it uh, by default the Joomla is uh, activated by administrator so in other words uh, if uh, if someone logs in or register on your site it will not uh, be activated or they cannot log in because you need to activate it first but uh, try to change it to self that means to say uh, when any one of uh, the users will try to register uh, they can activate it for themselves so you can uh, you can uh, also enable this one uh, to send password in their email uh, because uh, once they register they need some email so it's up to you you can enable and disable this one but for this presentations we'll just enable this one and then uh, it's you have some option also here to add some cap captcha so we have a video for that one how to enable captcha so check that out check that out so but uh, in this topic will will uh, enable the front end registration for now so they have also options to change their language if they want to we have also a separate video for that one 
and uh, they have also options to change their username so for now let, let, let's just leave it uh, as default or not enabled and then you have uh, also options here to enforce two authentication factor so we have also separate video for that one but for now uh, we will not include this in, the, in this video presentation so I will click save this one and I will go back to my uh, front end side then I will try to register here so I'll put my uh, email address temporary email address and I'll put user2 uh, user2 sample name so and then uh, my username I, I just put uh, sample 2 or sample 2 and then my password uh, we could auto generate that one so because this is just a demonstrations purposes and then let's click register and just click don't save then if you go browse you will see you will notice here your account has been created and activation sent to your email address if uh, if sent to the email address you entered so uh, note that you must activate your account by uh, selecting the activation link uh, when you so let's let's go back that one and uh, oh I forgot to save our password so let's just uh, save that one because later on we will use that one so let's try to check our email so it's here you can see I have here my inbox and it says uh, oh here is my username and password so yeah because I enabled the username and password so no need to save that one so in order for me to enter to the site I need to click this link to activate and it says here uh, your account has been activated okay so now I can uh, let me see because I did not memorize my email so I just copy it here I just create that email for the demonstration purposes and then uh, we have a, we have separate video to, to enable this one so check that out so I'll just click log in for this time and then uh, user oh uh, let me go back to the email sample 2 yeah it should be sample 2 not an email address and then log in there you go here you will find it here your uh, uh, your username your login so now you are in on their site you can uh, uh, you can uh, if if the site is more on blog, you can write a blog or something. So, uh, but this demonstrations we just show you how to uh, create a username and log log in and log out for the Joomla 4 website. All right. So for now, uh, that's it. Check uh, check out our previous video. We have so many uh, tips and tricks that uh, we give about Joomla 4. So for this, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in our next video. Bye.